to go to the Philippines recently, which is really cool. I'm Filipino and I'd never been. Oh my God, um, I would love to go to the Philippines. Yeah, it was so special and everyone was so great. Such good singers. Like, there's a rumor that they're like, they're really good at karaoke. And yes. Everyone in the arena, they were like singing in harmony. It was like insane. Really? They were singing my lyrics back to me. Perfectly on pitch, perfectly on key. It was awesome. Oh yeah, they were great. Oh my gosh, that's fantastic. <laughs> and did you eat some food over there? Oh, so much good Filipino food. Filipino food. Filipino food's incredible. Yeah, yeah I ate Lumpia, really good. yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. I love all that jam. My biggest show in the Philippines, and um, I'm of Filipino heritage, and I've never been able to go. And so it was such a special moment in my career, but also just for me as an individual, it meant so much to be accepted by that community. So I grew up with uh, a lot of Filipino culture, my mom being Filipino. My grandmother was in the Philippines one week before, and uh, she um, went over to Sp my mom lives in Spain. My grandmother lives in the Philippines, and I still have a lot of family back in the Philippines. So my father is a musician. Um, I'm half Filipino. Filipinos love karaoke. Yeah. So, um, so yeah, I, I love I love to sing. I've, I've always been around music. No. Okay, so my mother is Filipino and Chinese, mm -hmm. and then my dad's black, mm -hmm. but. Um, the culture of my mom's side is Filipino. So I like to just say like black and Filipino, but I do have Chinese blood in me. It means so, so much to me. I mean, it really is an honor. I, I, I want to try to help as much as I can just because it's so close to home for me, being Filipino and my mom's from the Philippines. So it, it really is an honor. I'm, I'm so grateful. Kamusta mga ka-proud? Today's video episode ay pag-uusapan natin ang ating mga iniidolong international celebrities na hindi lang basta sikat globally. Proud Filipino pa. My Filipino family, my kababayan, they always got me wherever I go, wherever music takes me, they'll always be there for me. Kilalani natin si Gabriela Sarmiento Wilson o mas kilala bilang her sa international music industry. But if I never will change I'm caught between your love and a heart play. Ang kababayan nating singer, songwriter ay meron lang namang Academy Award, Children and Family Emmy Award, limang Grammy Awards, nominasyon sa Golden Globe Award, tatlong American Music Awards, at apat na Billboard Music Awards. Congratulations, her! <laughs> Grabe yan, ang daming awards. Talaga namang nakaka-proud si Gabriela. Pero mas nakaka-proud ang hindi niya paglimot sa kanyang pagiging Pilipino. I have a little sister. She's eight years old. She's eight years old. Yeah. So did you grow up with a full household, mother and father? Most or? definitely. And also my grandparents. My mom is Filipino, so we have our grandparents in the house. <laughs> oh, really? So yeah. uh, you, you know how to make lumpia? Yes, I do. I'm the best. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, boom. Cheers. Uh, <laughs> And what's this called again? Lumpia. It's like the Where best. Where have you been all my life? It's, it's the best spring roll you've ever had yeah. in your life. Did your mom make this in, in the crib? All the time. Maliit na bulilit pa lamang ay kinakitaan na ng potensyal ang batang Gabriela na marami na ding nilabas ang mga TV shows at guestings sa Estados Unidos. Gabby, your mom's Filipina, right? Does yeah. she... Do you understand the guy? Do you speak Filipino? I, I don't really speak well. I, I, I know how to count. I can say my animals uh, and stuff like that. Does but... she scold you in Filipino? What does she say? Yeah, ever? she goes, Gabriela! <laughs> <laughs> Our Apollo kids starve tomorrow. Give it up, Apollo. A big welcome to this 10-year-old Gabby Wilson. <laughs> Sa cute at galing naman talaga ni Gabriela, hindi may kakailang sisikat at tatabo siya ng napakaraming awards. Maraming salamat, Gabriela, sa pagpre-representa ng galing ng Pilipina sa buong mundo. Mahal kita, pagkat mahal kita, ini you see yourself five to ten years from now, Gabby? Um, well, hopefully a big musician. Congratulations, her!
Kilala mo ba kung sino ang isa pang cute bulilit talent na yan? Walang iba kundi si Olivia Rodrigo lang naman ka-proud. At hindi lamang basta sobrang sikat niya ngayon, eh proud Filipino din naman siya. Yeah, oh my gosh. Um, my dad is Filipino and his family is Filipino, so that's sort of where I get, you know, sort of all of that from. Um, I'm actually not sure where my family is from. I, I know that I have a couple of, like, my dad has, like, cousins there and stuff that I really want to go visit one day. Um, so, yeah, I'm, I'm really hoping that I can come to the Philippines sooner rather than later. I hear it's amazing and I can't wait um, to meet all of, like, the Filipino fans and stuff. I think that'd be incredible. At hindi lamang siya basta proud. Idol din niya ang kanyang long lost sister na si Catriona Gray. Kamukha niya nga ba mga ka-proud? I don't know if she, I think she is an artist, but like, I think she was Miss Universe or Miss, yeah, I think she was Miss Universe. Catriona? Uh, Catriona Gray. Yeah. yeah. So cool. She has such a beautiful voice and sometimes I like listen to her songs and stuff and I think she's just obviously stunning and such an incredible person. So yeah, I, um. I love watching her. Um, people always say that I like sort of look like her, which is yeah. insane. She's really the most beautiful person that I've ever seen. So anytime people say that, I'm like, really? That's crazy. Ano sa tingin mo ka proud? Pasok ba sa yung collab na Olivia at Katrina? I think I yes, definitely. She should play like my older sister, or like I don't know how old she is, but like like a couple years older, like Olivia. Like she should be like. I don't know. We could, we could be the same person a couple years apart. Ipagpatuloy mo lang ang pagpapakita ng iyong talento at nandito lang kaming mga kababayan mong sumusuporta sa'yo. Dream come true. Thank you so much. Um, thank you to everyone. The Filipino following calls, they call me Ate Ivy. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, yes. It's like a respect for right, right, right. older. That's hilarious. But it's so cute. And I'm just like, look at that. Isa pa sa listahan si Ate Sawiti. Mga ka-proud, malamang napanood mo ang kanyang FIBA World Cup draw performance dito sa Pilipinas. Proud siya para sa lahat ng mga Pilipina na nagtatagumpay ngayon sa larangan ng musika sa buong mundo. You know any Filipino raps yourself? Um, I mean, the ones in America, yeah, I know Pilo. I mean, her is an R&B singer. I know Olivia Rodrigo is a singer, but I'm trying to see what the what the rappers out here is talking about. I hope you could learn a Tagalog rap. That I would, would love amazing. that. Six years ago, and I went to Barakai, Paloma, Cebu, and Manila. Um, I have family in Barakai and Cebu. Um, nice. But I can't wait to go back, and I tell whoever I'm working with, the first bathing suit, Sports Illustrated, Halfway naked, whatever, I need to be on the white sand beaches of the Philippines. Nakatutuwang isipin na sa kabila ng pagsikat na tinatamasa ng iba nating kababayan, hindi man lumaki sa Pilipinas, proud nilang isinisigaw na sila ay Pilipino. Hindi nahihiya sa kanilang itsura o kulay bagkus pinamamalas ang kanilang talento, tatak ng pagiging isang Pilipino. Have an awesome Filipino background, just like Mark. Um, do you think you guys would ever collaborate and do a traditional Filipino dance? I mean, that would be amazing. I'll throw it out there now that you've said it and hopefully it sticks. <laughs> Maraming salamat po at follow for more One Filipino TV.